Hi everyone, I'm going to uh, do something a little bit different today, no art journaling. I'm going to do something with this lunch paper bag. I've stumbled upon a video by the Firefly Studio 67 and I was <laughs> fascinated because that's kind of one of uh, the things that I like uh, taking something very uh, well cheap and accessible and doing something beautiful with it. I'm going to show you, I will put a link below to her video and I'm going to show you, uh, I hope, two examples and there are already some here so I will go about uh, options and variations. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make it into a clutch that's what she called it. <laughs> it's some elaborate uh, uh, pocket for all for me. And well, let's start. So I'll uh, show you some variations just so you will know what I'm talking about. Here is a very simple one that I just made with lots of uh, leftover uh, paper napkins. And here is one that I made just from a wrapping paper I had and added just the butterfly because I really felt it was needed. This one was just painted by me and I will show you how to do it because I'm really fascinated with it. It's so easy. Everyone has some kind of paint and I want to show you how to make it. This one was uh, made with cardstock and not everyone is uh, has the 12 by 12 uh, designer paper <laughs> and this one was made with just met from uh, some kind of uh, atlas and I've stamped around and inked around the edges uh, a little bit just to make it more edged. Uh, here I also inked around the edges. This one was made with, um, I had a paper placemate that I just glued here and added a acrylic paint, a wash acrylic paint, diluted it with water and went over it and just glued this uh, butterflies. Another one with uh, from a 12 by 12 uh, scrapbook paper and I just wanted to show you what I'm going to do with it. This is the clutch and I'm just putting things to send all kind of stuff that I've made so it's really uh, nice to have and it will probably go in Happy Me. So that's what I'm using it but uh, that's, you can do I'll show you when I'll start that you can also make it into some kind of a junk journal or traveler's a journal. So let's start. So you've got the paper bag. Now it really doesn't matter the size, whatever you've got. You've got smaller one. You will have a smaller clutch or a some whatever you are going to make out of it. But what you need to do is open it now you've got creases here and here like uh, like why you need to uh, this was on the inside now you have to make it to the outside like this and push it here so you are going against the fold that was uh, before this were to the inside and this was also so now I'm flipping it and I'm using my hand here in the inside just to help like this so that's the basic shape and whatever you do it's really now up to you because what you are doing to make it into a clutch is just folding it. Now you can decide where you want to fold it, how deep you want the pocket to be, and this is going to be the flap. So 
what I'm doing <coughs> is first of all I want a nice edge here so I'm just folding it and I'm not measuring anything I'm just eyeballing it and I'm going to put some glue here I'm using silicone glue it's from my cheap store <coughs> sorry I really like it it draw it's a uh, it's strong and it dries fast you don't have to use this kind of thing whatever uh, glue you have use it now the thing about this clutch is that you can just glue the sides here and you have some kind of envelope or pocket or you can uh, make more room to make more room uh, in this kind of thing you will have to make some kind of um, leeway here by making some uh, added fold like a um, like a fan and I will show you in a minute but what I wanted to uh, show you first is whatever you choose to decorate your uh, clutch it's better to do it when it's open so before I'm going to close the sides and do anything I'm going to work on it like here so as I said I want to show you first uh, this kind of thing because this is the simplest and it's just paint and you don't need to know how to paint and you don't need anything you just have fun with it so I've got here this acrylic paint just random picked uh, mostly and let's put some let's take some uh, paintbrush I'm and this is not a good one it's from my cheap store and as you can see it's really really runny and I'm going to switch to something more uh, a, a wider paintbrush and I'm just playing and making this kind of I don't know half a circle movement again you don't have to you can have fun as much as you want with this just splash <laughs> some color so I've got the first color and I want to dry it before I move to the other ones uh, because I don't want them to mix so I will dry it and come back I'm back this is dry and I'm continuing in it to you the next color and again I'm just doing some smearing <laughs> with some movement but really it doesn't matter if you want you can stamp away circles or <laughs> you can do squares it really doesn't matter I'm just putting paint and I'm trying to get some coverage for this uh, particular uh, envelope clutch whatever I am not interested in the um, brown paper showing i don't mind a little bit but it doesn't add to the mix here and you can also if you are uh, really want the colors to pop you can also gesso it first but as i said this is a really a uh, fun and quick project it really doesn't matter i'm dipping into this kind of purple and because it's from the same family as the pink I'm not even uh, trying to dry it first I'm just going in and adding where I think I need variations in the color now I'm doing right now only the outside and you need to decide for yourself if you are interested in painting the inside or doing anything else on the inside so this is uh, the start and I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back 
so I'm back and this is I hope completely dry and what I've done here is I'll show you um, here so you can see I just made some kind of circle very freehand if you like symmetrical just take some kind of lid and make a symmetrical circle went like this and this is it and then another circle and the same so one way to go about it and I'm thinking maybe I can also do spirals like this and go all over the page and <coughs> the decoration of this thing is completely up to your imagination you can do whatever you want you can stamp all uh, around you can put stickers whatever you want so I just wanted to uh, give you some example for the easiest thing to do so let's do some circle I mean if I forgot to mention this is a permanent marker and I'm uh, leaving a little bit of a uh, space between because I'm thinking I want to um, color it with the black I think then this uh, will pop more on the page but as I said really go with what you want as you can see it's not planned I'm just doing what comes <laughs> so I'm going to continue with this it's going to take me uh, some time to complete all this circles and I just went inside wet paint just great <laughs> no matter how uh, how much time I am thinking I gave to everything drying I am always finding some <laughs> corner that is not and ruining my markers it's a gift here is another one So I'll be back. I'm back. So here are my uh, quirky flowers. And I, now I'm just randomly going with this permanent pen and just adding, as I said, randomly just adding a little bit. I don't know why it works for me. So in several places, I think it just adds a little bit something to the mix just another color and variation you don't really have to do something like that so I've got my cover and basically this is going to be my clutch now I most of the time I will a uh, glue here and just uh, make it uh, closed before you're doing it decide if you want to put something like if you want a ribbon and you don't want uh, anyone to see the edge then that's the place to glue it here and then glue another piece here and you have a ribbon so that's up to you now uh, I'm going to glue this down put some uh, bulldog clip that will uh, 
or any kind of clip <laughs> that I can hand, get my hands on just so it will uh, stay for the moment as I said this part you you also need to decide if you want to keep it as is or if you want to glue something paint something up completely up to you so now I want to show you how to make a little bit of give for this kind of a pocket clutch and I'm just going to use some uh, pages from a book I always have this kind of thing I'm taking this and I'm again it's not really measuring I'm just uh, seeing uh, the length that I need here and marking a little bit less because I don't want it to uh, get more than what I have here so basically that's what I need I'm gonna cut it. Let's see. So now I'm just again eyeballing, doing a fan fold here. And the more folds you have, then a uh, the more give you will have inside the pocket to put some uh, bulky things now I'm usually just doing I will show you I'm going to trim this and so you can see what I'm talking about and this is approximately one centimeter wide I'm uh, most of the time just going for uh, this shape M or W this is the gift that I like and now I'm going to do another one again another page just marking it so it will be the same as this one and again fan fold and trimming the excess so and again I've got an M or a W whatever so taking this putting glue here the other one now you don't have to use a book page I just have lots of it and I'm trying to use all of it and now again glue here if you want you can use core tape basically this is all up to you so and here and here and it's better again to put some clip just until it's dry and you know everything is in place now some tips if you are if you are just painting all is well if you are trying if you are doing anything like uh, gluing pieces of paper now if it's scrapbook paper and it's thick and sturdy it's better not to uh, glue pieces that will go over folds because you will have a problem even if you score a line then you will have a like some break in your uh, paper and it's just, just a shame so if you are going for just something like that keep the folds clear of any anything if you are using something like I've done here with that is a paper placement it's very thin then you can go around and glue it however you want the same thing as this map I just went all over and glue this down now another thing about gluing down pieces of paper if you've got large 
uh, pieces of paper like uh, maps or uh, wrapping paper you can also go and cover at least part of the inside and again if not you can just paint the inside or leave it be about closures closures can be as simple as just taking some ribbon and going around and like this it really doesn't matter and here again i also went around and just added a piece uh, of tag here because i thought it will just be nice you can put beads again up to your imagination and another kind of closure well uh is here it is you punch a hole here and you just take a thread like this push it through your hole get inside the loop now what i like to do is leave this a short piece here with the longer one going around meeting this one here like so and again you can put beads you can put tags you can do whatever you want so this is another kind of closure and here i'm thinking as you can see the flap is not nice i'm thinking i'm just going to go let's take this purple marker and go and do some purple on the edges like so you can also take a makeup sponge and ink around the edges with ink pads whatever you like this is just the basic that i really wanted to show you a really easy DIY that everyone can make and now I can even paint the whole thing if I want with the permanent marker it doesn't even have to be with the acrylics that I have used this is just a matter of patience to go <laughs> over all this uh, flap with the permanent marker but it's another way to go so as you can see very easy and I think I can already take out the clips and here is the give with the fold like this and it's not uh, it's a little less than this edge so it won't show I like it like this everyone can do whatever they like <laughs> it's just an example so I'm gonna leave this uh, for the moment uh, let's see how much time I've got left not much uh, I was hoping to show you just another envelope with um, just gluing pieces of a uh, paper uh, as you as you know if you are following my videos i've got this notebook with excess paint that i'm always putting here and i'm always using it for all kinds of projects and i thought maybe i will use in it uh, here is the leftover paint from this project i just wiped the excess here and as you can see scribbled so i can use this i can use whatever uh, leftovers i've got like this ones that uh, i think it was uh, like three uh, videos ago that i've used these papers to make a background so i'm thinking i'm gonna use it on this and because i don't have enough a uh, um, <laughs> time on my uh, camera so i'll glue some down and i'll come back and you will see uh, what's next i'll be back i'm back 
here is my paper bag I went crazy with all my excess uh, paper paint paper <laughs> and glued all uh, a lot of uh, torn paper here and I went uh, around with a black permanent marker and also stamp all around with this a uh, stamp I just thought it would be nice because I already have a lot of uh, circles and dots all around so I just went and added this stamp so I wanted to show you what I've uh, talked about in the beginning about this not uh, having to be a clutch it can also be the cover for a journal now you can go two ways about it you can just flip it like this fold it like this and basically this is the cover and here is the spine and you take pages that you want in your a uh, uh, journal whatever and just you trim them to fit your uh, your cover and of course here will go the stitch now if you want to, to keep the flap then you fold it where you want it like this like we've done before a little bit less and fold and again this will be the spine where the fold is you take the papers that you want in your art journal and you trim them to fit and then you will have and here will go will go the stitch so that's the other way to go about it so this is it I hope uh, you will uh, go wild <laughs> <laughs> with your uh, paper bags and have fun with it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now